and hi guys welcome back more really here and we are playing Gargans B. Wendy's the grand campaign we're playing at the Germans advancing into Soviet Union to crush and kill the communist regime yeah this time we are at turn 8 last video I've actually ended the turn and uh, the situation uh, is as it seems and as it looks the units. Today we will be dealing with Army Group North uh, and of course the Finns. Um, yeah, so let's get started. What's the uh, what's the situation? The Finns, as, as we have already seen uh, last video, um, the Finns have been a little bit pushed back by the counter-attacking Soviet forces, uh, which is uh, interesting. Yeah, let's finish the. Mm, security regiment mm, caught up in our offensive let's take a look at the situation here uh, seems move up some of the divisions we could try to cut off uh, these forces I don't know if we will succeed maybe not this turn maybe next turn but it's a possibility zero two second core second core no. nothing like this Seventh core, sixth, sixth core. Uh, yeah, let's present a a front here against the. This this is German, German Finnish uh, units. Yeah, and it's all we can do probably. Some brigades here. Mm, yeah, we will count on further uh, Soviet uh, counterattacks. I will rail the division back here, and we could deal with the Hanko garrison mm, next turn, probably. In the Northeast, we move further and further. Have we started the rail conversion? We tried, but um, nothing really happens. There are those construction battalions in the sixth, uh, sixth core, there are some in the <coughs> the other HQs engineer battalions I'm not sure there are only in the sixth core there are only three construction battalions maybe in some army commands no engineer battalions I will try to put the HQ around here, so maybe the rear conversion starts. I don't know the actual uh, precise rules of rear conversion by the Finns. I thought that the construction battalions, uh, if, if they could uh, repair the rails, but I'm not sure now. Okay, the, the Soviets uh, would ha have probably constructed some fort fortifications along the Finnish no attack line so we can just move up to, to this line and do nothing mm. so yeah it's the it's all we can do for now at least we have 27 they have 26 mm, defense here so it's not possible to mm, win that combat 
we um, occupy Tallinn. We will also maybe hasty attack. No, hasty attack is not good enough. Derivative attack. Derivative attack is still not good enough. They had their combat value massively mm. no. the Mikhail Efremov uh, really does great job at uh, bumping up the combat value from 94 to 200 it's a lot the last <coughs> uh, last ditch effort now he actually um, screwed up and lowered the combat value so I could uh, so I could <clears throat> so I could succeed yeah exactly okay Let's finish the uh, fortified zone, and we have our enemies set up for the next turn. We have one more division here to, um, to finish up the troops. Uh, let's send it over to the north. I wonder if there is any more uh, Soviet units there. It's the Derikon maybe to show us. Or not. Hopefully no. Hopefully no more Soviet units there. But we will do Derikon anyways. Because it's kinda useful. As you probably know. And I usually forget it at the start of the game. So maybe some units here. It's uh, easier for the units to hide if they are in forests. So if you're playing against a human opponent and want to hide somewhat uh, your uh, movements, or maybe not movement, but the position of your units, place them in, into forests. Especially if you're playing as the Germans, because the, the Soviet recon is really, really bad. Mm. I'm not sure why does it work like this. We could even try. Maybe, no, maybe we can try <clears throat> to finish this stack up, and then hmm, ah, there is no rush. We'd better use mm, these forces maybe to mm, to finish this stack up. the HQ further up and let's see okay the CV got dropped so we could uh, so we could finish this um, this encircled uh, formations we have one more division from this core and we can place it <laughs> Maybe place it here and uh, uh, no, too bad. But I could move the Panzer division away. What we, before I start moving all those troops, I probably should explain what are my intentions. The intentions are a bit unclear because everything depends on our combat results. If uh, we fail some attacks, then we are in a bad situation. I mean, worse situation, and something is not possible. If we succeed, then a lot more is is possible um, in this uh, in this situation. So I was thinking about doing a HQ build up for this core, uh, 56, because there are bad on the on the fuel side and uh, using them in the next turn to clean 
uh, everything up. And to do this, I would probably need to um, build up four units. Yeah, but I would like to vacate the front lines, so move a little bit, uh, a little bit back. Yeah, maybe here. And now I can uh, break down this formation and secure the front line. And this, this, this goes back a bit, maybe this location, and the infantry vigilance go forward. The Soviets are <coughs> have limited uh, limited uh, formations here, so our defensive values of uh, 16, one regiment is like 16 defensive value, I think they are quite safe. We are over the river, uh, I mean, we are defend protected by the river, so the Soviet um, CV would get halved due to the river crossing, and then they need uh, 2 to 1 ratio um, to to evict us from the hex. Here we have level one um, <coughs> the entrenchment, so I think this line uh, looks kind of safe. I could even try, or not, I could even try with information to occupy this hex, but this hex doesn't really matter because <coughs> here is our goal, not pushing east. Uh, okay, so I have Let's bring back the, uh, the movement points, not the defensive values. Mm, I could bring back the... could use one division, maybe, to attack. I don't know if it blocks the HQ build-up. Let's test it. Let's test it. Let's put one division into... Oh, god damn it. Munch time, 96 to 64, really, really, but let's check, uh, is it still 4? Yeah, it's still 4, so let's use the, the other military division to attack, yeah, that's okay, uh, and now let's see, 4 units, still 4 units, very well. Very well. Let's bring the let's bring the Panzer division back a bit as well. And now HQ build up. Admin points twenty. Yeah, we build up the, uh, the core. So next turn we will have plenty of fuel. And when we are talking about fuel, let's advance our railhead. A bit now we are finally over the Virikaya River, so <clears throat> the fuel situation should get better and better. Um, yep. And now, uh, what's the plan around Leningrad? So the plan is to clean as many hexes as possible, and um, at the same time protect against the counter attacks. That were. Um, quite scary, like last turn. Mm, yeah, here you can see hexes that are not, uh, that don't have much defensive value, so we may focus our, <coughs> we may focus our advance around here. Let's see, where's the core? It's here. I can't move the <coughs> these divisions. So I think we'll, this core will be responsible for defending against counterattacks from these locations. But this division um, is useful at this side. How many? We have here six divisions. Ah, it's four actually, because one is divided into regiments. 
but it's too much anyways. Explore is also full. I'm looking for a uh, I'm looking for a command that could accommodate one more division. Maybe this command. Disco? This command? Mm, yeah, yeah. I will see myself out. Let's do let's place this division here. Take one one more division, maybe this one. Place it here. Take the command. Take the command. Let's reassign it. It's 38. 38. 38 core. Two admin points. It's okay. And now we can <coughs> attack the enemy position. Mm, okay. We are using this core, so let's. Mm. Sorry, let's keep on using it. Mm. So we use one division, division here, and one division here -ish, maybe. I found out that <coughs> when, I, when I was playing Soviets in the multiplayer game, I found out that attacking from two hexes into one is more effective than attacking from one hex, but the divisions are stacked. I don't know why. I haven't found anything uh, <coughs> regarding the situation in the manual. But uh, when my um, attacking forces were like three divisions in one hex and attacking uh, into another hex, then my combat value usually did not... Um, well, was not inflated during the fight, so the commander uh, failed to um, failed to um, roll a good uh, a good result. But when I've uh, spread the attacking units into two or three hexes, then the results were way better. It's like maybe something, uh, or maybe it is well known well known in the. Um, <coughs> Maybe it is well known in the uh, in the community, but I haven't found it, and I've learned something. Uh, now let's <coughs> take a look at our X core because it's um, the next thing we'll be moving. The X core is <coughs> excellent uh, tool to claim this hex because it has a quite uh, significant. A combat value, so I could place one division here and maybe one division here. Mm, we have 50, 50 combat value. Let's pull, uh, push up the, um, the command. Let's do mm, the prompt attack. And we succeed. Only one pioneer battalion was um, was uh, committed, but we routed the enemy, and that's something. Now we use our following. Mm, that's a big hex. That's a big hex. Should I use two divisions or three divisions? We are over. Two point um, <coughs> two point zero um, relative combat strength. I could try to do something I was not doing the whole campaign. I could try to bomb this hex using our planes, actual planes. Here we have a <coughs> airbase with some bombers. I click the bomb unit mode. Select the Select the airbase, and now I can decide what planes do I want to commit. If I wanted to uh, bomb from a different airbase, from for example this, I select this different airbase and also see what planes do I have. There's 
uh, one more airbase. Yeah, but these uh, all those um, all those uh, airbases are the same command, so it's I think it's first Fliga Corps. And when uh, the airbase is under this, um, when you select an airbase and want to do a, a bomb unit mode, you want to bomb a unit, uh, you press, press Shift and you right click the hex, and here it shows you all the uh, all the units that are under this one command. So yeah, let's select all. There is a button for, to select them all, and let's press launch. I've lost 15. Uh, bombers, because I had none, mm, no fighter cover. They had 46 fighters defending it, but I bombed it for 56 men. What's important is something is not shown here, because these are only men killed. But besides the men killed, there are also disrupted, um, disrupted enemy formations. And after the bombing run, the disruption it tends to be quite significant. It's the, the lack of the lack of fighter cover is caused by, by the situation that our um, fighter airbase was too far away and probably did not have uh, <coughs> like uh, enough range to to commit. To the to the um, mission. If we put the uh, base is a bit closer. Well, they're they've already used all their um, um, flying. Points, so to say. Uh, let's do the. I'm wondering, should I commit this third division? And here is the situation because I, I cannot plan um, what will happen next, what I will do next, uh, because it all depends on the, um, on the result of this combat. I think I will commit the third division because. Um, uh, yeah, we are not in a hurry and we don't, don't need a perfect result, but we need a uh, constant progress. So, <laughs> we don't take much risk. Yeah, we rotated one division, the two retreated. Now, I have uh, enough um, movement points to um, exert another, uh, another attack because I've placed my uh, divisions with higher mm, movement points into the hex that um, <coughs> neighbors the another hex. This hex was also okay, because I then would um, I could uh, attack this position. Yeah, that was our x core, and as you can see, it's quite a formidable force. It can remove three divisions uh, stuck on top of each other. And it will have its own use because, as you can see here, is a wall of uh, <laughs> German formations. Yeah. And now we can also use our um, our Panzer formations. We have one motorized division, one Panzer division, and another Panzer division that is split into three regiments. This one has not much fuel. So it won't be sorry, it won't be that useful. But we can recombine the the other division, and the, the other has quite a significant amount of fuel and movement points. Twenty-eight is okay, a okay number. Let's see. Here the um, the resistance is futile to displace and we displace the enemy and we have we have cut off the 
um, the Leningrad city itself from any uh, land land <coughs> connection, rail connection. Here we can see powerful Soviet formations. I have no chance in dealing with those. Mm, so, how does our movement point situation look? Uh, I have <coughs> four, uh, I mean, first core uh, to my disposal. I could try with, uh, Two units maybe, and removing this this hex. Hmm. Only two, only four. Maybe I will try with one division. Only for defensive value. So let's try, and it works very well. I could even occupy this hex. Mm. But I cannot attack this position, unfortunately. I can do this with one division. I could try. There is nothing um, to be lost, so to say. Nothing I could lose. Let's see what can happen. Mm. Let's put the uh, HQ even closer. No, it doesn't work that way. But I can place the infantry mm. at the mm, at the enemy at the face of the enemy. Now uh, here we can uh, we have three infantry divisions that I'm planning on using as a um, as a defense uh, like a screening force like a screening force let's maybe use the uh, is this one we can uh, we can yes we can can divide it into uh, regiments. I will place a full division here because it um, it's, it's neighbors free enemy hexes. And some more regiments around here. Also this division will also be divided. Okay, it works for now. Let's put the um, HQ, put the Panzer HQ forward. Mm -hmm. And we have here two more divisions from the first core. And we'll place them probably around here. It looks like a good good location okay mm -hmm. push the, mm, these divisions a bit forward and I think uh, that's all for um, army group north in the Leningrad sector do we have something more? The, mm, the HQs, this one is okay, maybe this one, let's go a bit, uh, a bit forward. Ah, there is one more thing, the airbase, the airbase can go here. I don't think I have any more uh, Fuel. I have, but these are probably 
the ones from here so I don't want to use them yeah I've I remember that I've uh, uh, <coughs> sent all those transport planes to the army group center so the airbase goes back <laughs> let's move the army commands and the recon and the recon airfields also up we have some more units uh, from army group north um, around here they are protecting our right flank let's try to hmm, I even route it nice let's try to do what they were designed to do wrong click and protect the right flag exactly exactly of something resembling a front something resembling a front and hmm, my unit interesting and uh, at the same time uh, a small answer comment I wonder if there are some units over over there. I've placed them a bit badly because I haven't broken the supply supply chain here. So let's um, try to fix it. Let's leave it uh, as it is for now. Yeah. So it is Army Group North dealt with. We have uh, mm, made a considerable progress. Mainly we have uh, cut off the rail uh, connection between Leningrad and the rest of the Russia. The Leningrad uh, city and all those units still receive supply by uh, a port, which is located here, yeah, here, and here, and here. Um, so they ship the supplies into Leningrad. Uh, yeah, and I think it's all for for now. The the plan is to uh, get this hex, then get this hex, then from those two get this hex, and then from this and this hex we get this one, and then from these two we get this. And here is the only port that receives uh, Soviet supply. So when this port is captured, then all those units are doomed. 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 Okay, and uh, that's everything for today. Uh, see you guys next time. Happy Easter or uh, whatever you are um, celebrating. Because today is, is Easter, but uh, when you, you will be watching it, it will be probably be a different day. So have a nice day and bye!